Hey guys, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. When we last left off, we were continuing our Dino Fun Park campaign. And, uh... For the first time in this campaign, we're actually allowed to build a base. Actually quite a fun mission, this one. Whoa, we need to turn that shit down. Seriously. There we go. Building. Yeah, quite a fun mission this one. Uh, there's kind of a lot of defense involved and indeed a lot of reactionary uh, stuff as well. So, a good mission to get your teeth sunk into. Now, I think this mission's like much easier when played as GDI as well. Now, you'll notice we start off in like this weird little crater type deal dealio going on, which is cool. Now with Nod, what you could do really is tank the place. And by that I mean um, you can really focus on turtling this whole base and uh, building up like loads of um, obelisks of light and that kind of stuff. But as GDI, we have to use uh, our muscle because after all that is what GDI is known for. Nod is the brawn, GDI. No, GDI is the brawn. Nod is the brain. Still not feeling 100% correct, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys. Now, there's plenty of Tiberium on this level, so we don't really have to worry too much, which is good. Uh, it's just setting up uh, our initial defense and base is going to cost a fair amount. Luckily, we do have the overwhelming armor superiority of our units. Which is nice, very nice. So they can attack us from four different ways, essentially. And the troops we start off with here are literally worthless for fighting um, dinosaurs. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say they ain't going to be surviving. Not for very long, anyway. Just going to build up a fairly basic base. We're going to run... Um, uh, let's give it a save. Whilst it's all kind of working. Yeah, so we're gonna go for our t well, go through our tech tree as quick as we can because we want to get to mammoths. Them dinos can't really do an awful lot of much against mammoths. Building. But we'll crack out some mediums to start with because mediums really, really do hold the line. The dinos aren't that tough. Construction complete. Not really. Building. Got two harvesters, so that's uh, plenty of resources coming in. That won't last forever. But uh, as I said, there is plenty of resources on this map. Ah, good. Complete. That's just turned into a blossom tree. Building. Very, very, very nice. I reckon if we start out with... We'll go with five mediums, I think. That'll give us enough to really rock the house. Two more. And then we can make a push towards mammoths. So to get mammoths, we need a repair facility, which isn't too bad, because then we can keep our tanks patched up and online too. Because we really don't want to lose any tanks if we, uh, if we can avoid it. Because tanks are expensive, man. Especially our tanks. Why have five complete. when you can have six? Building. Go on, let's go for six. Six of these puppies will be able to seriously uh, hold out for us, at least for the early game. So this map is dotted with dinos, as you'd imagine. But also, Building. it has um, waves of dinosaurs that come at us periodically. And after we trigger certain events. But what we want to focus on first is unlocking some more Tiberium. So let's go aggro some dinos. Got anything down here? Oh, hello, Mr. T-Rex. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. Okay, shit. Yeah, these guys will attack your harvesters, and they will fuck them up. Like, they're ridiculously strong against harvesters. Okay, cool. Aggroed a lot of shit here. Yeah, I know. But we really do need to open up the next tip field. Unit Silos 
Uh, silos are not needed. Mammoths are needed. And we're low on power, which is not good. Let's get an advanced power system. Now, obviously, well, I say obviously, with uh, GDI, there's very little point in building defensive structures because GDI's defensive structures are just so poor in comparison to NOD's. NOD's defenses are where it's at. Nice. We've got ourselves quite a nice little force here. That'll do nicely. We can actually save the game because it seems to be stable, which is very nice. And we can kick up to max speed. Yeah, we'll kick up. To nah, don't, not yet. Yes, sir. Right, so Awaiting order. we need to sort out this dino situation down here. Yes, sir. idealistically. Construction. See, let's leave a couple yes, of. Move let's down. leave the mammoths back here. We're going to clear these dinos out with the mediums, because we are not going to want to leave our base totally undefended. And we can start investing in an iron cannon and shit like that later as well. Because so we're going to nuke these damn dinos back to the Stone Age, where they belong. Or at least zap them back. Right, I don't want you guys doing that. Hold the line. We need to explore first. Not 100% yes, sure what's around here. Yes, sir. Not a huge amount of Siberian there, but it's going to have to hold us over for now. Okay. Now, of course, we've got a blossom tree there, which is fantastic. Yes, sir. Moving out. But there is more Tib just down here. Some more Tib in there. And, and, but wait ladies and gentlemen, but wait, there's more. If we move our asses up here. Ah shit. Raptors! Raptor is scratched. Oh, you sneaky little sausage. Where do you think you're going? Yes, oh, you sly peppers. I see you. Yeah. When these waves come in, actually, when you're fighting the different dinos with uh, mammoths and medium tanks, you can really see um, the damage output difference between mediums and mammoths. Um, the damage output difference is so much higher than I thought it would be. For a long time, I thought there's no point building mammoths because they're just they're just like um, slightly more powerful medium tanks. But no, they they really are a lot better, especially as they regen their armor as well, which is really freaking nice. Okay, so that's pretty safe there. You harvest that one. You harvest that one. And that will keep us financially stable for now. Whilst we go hunting with these bad boys. See what we can find. Found some raptors. Raptors really will damage your tanks as well. You need to be careful. I don't know how they do so much damage to a, a Bradley. Not Bradley, a uh, M1 Abrams, which is a serious bit of kit. But hey, what do I know? Well, heaven forbid we had Challenger twos with the daughter set armor. Ah, maybe that's why. They're only M1s. If they were Challengers twos, it would be all be different. Because of that sexy armor. But in all seriousness, Challenger 2 and the M1 are very, very good tanks. Very respectable tanks, both of them. Probably not a huge amount between them, to be honest. Right, let's get these guys patched back up and then we can go back out hunting. Okay, so we've kind of opened this place up just a little bit. 
which is fantastic. Now remember, it's so much cheaper to repair your tanks than um, buying new ones. Gentlemen, this is about combat. Ah, oh, come at me, bro. Ooh. Wow, they really fucked that one up, didn't they? Right, form a queue. Come on, gentlemen. Let's get down to business. Our business is war. And business is good. Not sure what they're aggroing to. But yeah, T Rex isn't that scary compared to a mammoth tank. Go figure. Go figure. Silos needed. Oh really? You mean mammoth tanks needed? Silos. <laughs> what are you talking about, Eva? That is unacceptable. And Cloud is what somewhere she shouldn't be. Cloud. Oi. She gives no shits either. Literally no shits. Construction complete. Cats, man. Seriously. Bloody cats. Ah, there we go. She listened that time. Building. <sighs> Vehicle reporting. She keeps getting on top of my radiator. She keeps knocking my surround sound speakers down. Which is really bad, you know? I need those. For the hearing of bullets and stuff. Right, let's get these guys patched right the fuck back up. They're pretty good. Nice. The mammoths can hold the line because they're slow, fat, and heavily armoured. And our mediums, which are a little bit more nimble, can go out and do the damage. Can go out and sweep the perimeter. Imagine a world where something like a Challenger 2, um, or an M1, Abrams, is uh, considered a medium tank. That is a delicious idea. Construction complete. But then that would be. But then something like a mammoth tank just wouldn't wouldn't be useful. If you think about it, too slow, too much of a target. It's too heavy. It would consume way too much fuel. We need smaller, lighter vehicles are the future. Not heavily armoured tanks. Which is a shame. Because as a kid, I always uh, looked forward to seeing, you know, the evolution of tanks and just war machines in general. But uh, militaries of the world are going to be going in a very different direction. In the next 50 years or so. Unmanned drones and things, most likely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. At least the large majority. Okay. See, this is what's cool about having two relatively small patches. Because if you divide them up between the harvesters, they actually last a good amount of time. Yes, sir. Moving out. Right. So this yes, team is going well. Building. Could probably bolster this team with a couple more tanks. They do have a lot of shit to handle. Yeah. This is a shitstorm in there. Actually, we go take the north first. Building. Go take the north. Go visit the Northmen. I suppose, really, we could. It's going to be very hard to imagine us losing now. Construction complete. How many have we got here? Five, six, seven. Can't have an odd number. Building. I'm not OCD, but I'm OCD. Construction complete. Nice. Very, very, Building. very nice. Construction complete. Let's get some silos. Building. Construction complete. I'd love to build some actual defenses, but as I've said, uh, GDI defenses are utter shit. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't realise we had... You know what, it's fine. Let's go hunting. Let's go hunt some dinos. Go get ourselves some dino steaks. At least these guys won't go uh, hungry. Although we are 
hunting dinosaurs with depleted uranium shells, but... Shh. What's that? Don't worry about the glowing meat. The glowing meat is tasty meat. Oh, I made myself sad thinking about glowy meat. Ah, oh, such high hopes for a Fallout game. And Fallout 76 comes out and it's, a, it's a possibly going to be the turkey of the year. What a shame. How do you ruin Fallout? Oh, right. You take all the story out and all the NPCs and have a massive empty world with uh, very little to do. Hmm. I guess I guess that'll do it. To be fair, that would certainly ruin Fallout. Still, I I have faith that Bethesda will fix it. I think I think well they'll have to. There's too much money invested for them to just leave it as is. But what do I know? Huh? Honestly, what do I know? Honestly, very little. I ain't no game designer or analyst. Oh, hello. What the f fuck? Oh shit, they're harvesting down there. Well, that's kind of cool. Yes, sir. But generally speaking, they go for the harvesters. Not that I'm sad that they didn't. Building on hold. Cancel. You understand? Building. Very glad that they didn't go for the harvesters there. Right, boys. Let's see what we got in here. Yes, Light them up. Unfortunately, those uh, do do a very good job of destroying the Tiberium. Unit lost. Unit lost. What do we lose? Ah, shit. I bet we lost the... Yeah, we lost the harvester. Building. That's okay. We can afford another one. What haven't we built? Why can't we build... Unit reporting. Moving up. Construction complete. Yeah, this place is a nightmare. We might actually lose some... units here. Not that I want to. Clever girl. It's not the kind of forest that you want to go hunting with. Or hunting in. Affirmative. Moving out. Okay. All right, back to base, boys. Let's get these units patched up. Yes, we lost the harvester. Shit. It doesn't matter. And that is a risky spot, of Tiberium, up there. To be honest, to grab. There's definitely more raptors in here. I would say almost definitely. Let's go fix these guys up. Wow! We basically came back, made a duct tape. Oh, also, uh, in other news, I finally sent my Razor phone back. Um, some of you may know that literally almost a year ago, I, I upgraded my phone. And I took a chance and I went for the new Razor phone. Had the first one stolen at work. The replacement that I got um, lasted about two weeks before it malfunctioned. And it actually malfunctioned. Um, the screen wouldn't turn on at all. The phone would boot, and if the phone was off, you could plug it in. And the display would light up and show the charging symbol. But as soon as it went to boot into Android, it would just go black. Now my original version, my original Razer phone, the one that I had stolen, did this as well. But I could fix it by turning it on and off again. Wooden fence. Building. What? Construction complete. You're shitting me. Build wooden fences. That's cool. All right. That's pretty gnarly. Alright, let's get to the communication centre. I think that's what we haven't got. But yeah, so this uh, this other phone that I got, this replacement one, 
uh, developed the same fault, except I couldn't shift it by um, uh, restarting it. So it took me three months arguing with Razer to actually replace it. I could have got it replaced on my insurance. My insurance company said you could pay us to replace it. Or, because the phone's still under manufacturer's guarantee, get them to do it. But Razer were not having it. And literally, they've just agreed to replace the fucking phone. Now, bear in mind, I've been paying £44 a month for that phone for the last three, three and a half months. And I haven't had the phone. I've had to buy a spare Sony phone. But yeah, ridiculous. For a big company like yeah. Razer. And, um... From what I've heard, their Razer Phone 2's got a few issues like that as well. And uh, Razer apparently, as a whole, is not an easy company to get replacement, um, well, replacement products from. Whereas Corsair, I've had Corsair products go wrong, but I still swear by them. Why? Because every time they do fail, at least in my experience, they've replaced them like that. Next day delivery, all sorted. In fact, actually, when uh, Nikki's rabbit chewed through my um, headset, uh, I actually explained that to Corsair, and not only did they send me a new one, um, they actually sent me the the new the new ist version of it as well. So yeah, Corsair man, all the way. Even my Corsair case, I got the 750D, uh, that arrived to me damaged, and uh, I messaged them about that, and they said, well, we can either replace your case or send you out a brand new front panel. I was like, oh, sweet, I just have the brand new front panel, and I just swapped it over myself. They're so good. And they also replaced um, a stick of RAM that I had. Ion cannon ready. Ooh, nice. And I didn't even have a receipt for that. But because their RAM is lifetime warranty, they replaced it with very little hassle. So, cool sir, man. All the way. You mean mammoth tanks needed? Yeah, a bit of a tangent, but, you know. These things that are on my, on my mind sometimes come out. Right, let's continue hunting dinosaurs. Which is why I'm quite happy to say I am a Corsair fanboy. Because not only is their shit amazing, um, their warranty service is second to none as well. And when their shit goes wrong, they replace it. And they replace it fast. <sighs> this keyboard and this mouse, man. Best investments ever. Now. Select target. Hey, buddy. Wakey, wakey. Yes, sir. Out. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way we can get over there. So, you know what we're going to have to do? We either iron cannon them to death. Or, we get some yes, mammoths perfect. to just sit here on the lakeside. And volley over. Yes, sir. Can't quite reach. When I tested this mission, they they kind of all swamped down here. Um. Vehicle reporting. And that's always the thing, you know, when you buy expensive peripherals, peripherals, accessories. Like, you know, when you're paying that kind of money for something, you expect them to stand by it. When companies like Razer already charge a premium on top of what, you know, other yep, premium manufacturers out. sell. Oh, and the, the shipping label and everything they sent me was all economy as well. Construction complete. Which is ridiculous when you think about it. Big company like that sending like an economy shipping label. Whereas, with the Corsair returns, it was all tracked and signed. Nice. I suppose we could... 
No, we can't. Why? What haven't we built here? Building. Suppose we build one of these barracks. Complete. Say, why can't we build? Cannot deploy here. New construction options. Ah, there we go. Now we can get helipads. Construction. Let's drop down some helipads. New because why not? Options. Construction complete. I reckon four orcas. Construction complete. Should be enough. Building. Wow, they really drain the funds. They really drain the funds. What the? F yes, sir. Yes, sir. What the hell, yes, sir. dude? Get your ass back! You need to see the repair shop, dude. Get patched. And this is really good, actually. The radar is really good for seeing uh, enemies. Very good. Me like. Right, fix up. Actually, Moving drop your load off first. The fuck? Am I being stupid? Don't answer that. Ion cannon ready. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Select target. Ion cannon charging. All right, let's get him fixed up just a little bit. See what I mean about like how much Tiberium they are. Yeah, really good for picking out the um, enemies because the dinosaurs are really quite hard to see. Way more Tiberium on this level than I thought it was. This mission, I should say. Right, you go dump your ass off. You guys, waste them. I think we've got a handle on the situation right now. Mission objective. The Nod base in this area is threatening to make your species extinct. Take any action you deem necessary for your survival. Oh shit, guys. We actually have a mission here where we play as the dinosaurs. Oh my. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, my friends, that's going to have to wait until the next video. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, well, I guess it's our turn to rip and tear. Hmm. That's going to be fun. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.